So you wanna know how to use your phone as a webcam. Well, obviously you need a phone and an Android or iPhone would do well. You need a cord to connect directly from your phone to your computer. And you also need to watch the rest of this video so I can show you how to do it easy and in the most reliable way. As more and more people work from home, attend more Zoom meetings, and even live stream, the webcam you use for your videos is more important than ever. And the phone you already have is an amazing option because the video quality is gonna be really, really high. It's gonna be less expensive because you already have it. And as you'll see in this tutorial, it's quite easy to set up. The only other thing you need is some sort of app. And there are many of them out there, dozens in fact, and I've tested many. One that actually failed in the middle of a live stream in front of thousands of people. All right, let's see if we can reset this phone and let's see if this works now. Everything's freezing, that's okay. This happens. And I don't want that to happen to you. So after a lot of testing, I landed on an app that I absolutely love. They're the sponsor of this video and that is Camo. Here, I'll show you how it works. First, you'll need to install the Camo app onto your phone and then also download the Camo software onto your computer. Here's my affiliate link in case you wanna to choose to upgrade to Pro later on. Next, fire up Camo on your computer. Here's what it will look like on a PC, and here's what it looks like on a Mac. They're virtually the same interface, but I'm gonna be using the Mac version for the rest of this demonstration. Right now, as you can see, it says no device is connected, so what we're gonna do is we're going to connect our device. And guess what? nothing happens. And the reason is because we haven't opened up Camo on our device yet, which is just very simple to do. Just click on the app and you're ready to go. See, there we go. And now it's moving around. I'm going to move this around and actually put it onto a little holster or adapter I have here. So it's looking all nice. And there we go. We are seeing essentially a preview of what this will look like when we select it as a webcam. Now there are some really cool settings here that I'll show you what to do with in a moment but I wanna show you how to select this as a webcam when you're in something like Zoom. So let's go into Zoom right now. All right, Camo's here on the left-hand side. Zoom is on the right-hand side, and obviously Zoom with the face camera uh, from the computer, it's not gonna be really great quality even if I move this up. It's just so much better on Camo because it's using your phone. But how do we select Camo as a webcam? Well, very simple. You go to the video area here and click on the upper icon right there. I'm gonna click on Reincubate Camo and there we go. It instantly uses the phone as a webcam now. And this is so cool because you can use this view as your primary webcam for your Zoom calls, your live streams, whatever. Maybe you have it as a second cam sort of looking top down at your desk so that you can have some view of whatever it is you're building with your hands. Or maybe you just wanna get fancy during your live streams and have multiple views. For example, I could be talking to you here and I can tell a story and then I can go back to this camera right here and on the fly I can move back and forth and it just looks a lot more professional. Now the number one way that I use camo is actually during my Pokemon card openings on my channel, Deep Pocket Monster. I have the camera right here, as you can see, and it's close to my hand so that we could see the cards that I'm opening inside of these packs. It's a really cool view. That feature, Deep Pocket Monster. Thank you. Ew! No, no way, we did it. Now I definitely recommend that you get some sort of mount to place your phone at the right level. You want it sort of eye level. Maybe you have an articulating arm like this that's on the desk that sort of grasps uh, onto something on the other side. Or perhaps you use something like a switch pod with your phone and a phone adapter like this to make it easy for you to place it to wherever you want it to go. You might have some adapters and things that you can use already, but if not, I'll link to some stuff below. And full disclosure, the switch pod is something that I co-invented with my buddy Caleb. So that is my own product. For now though, I wanna show you some of the settings inside of Camo so you can adjust things as you wish. Okay, so here we are back in Camo. You see two of me now. We see Camo on the left-hand side, Zoom on the right-hand side as before. And I'm gonna show you some of the fun settings that you can use here. We're gonna go from top down, right? So we are on Pat Flynn's iPhone and we're in normal mode. You can use portrait mode and other kinds of things that you might be able to find, some fun, fancy things. Nothing you need to necessarily worry about, but the lens is the cool part because if you use something like an iPhone or another Android phone with multiple cameras on it, you can actually switch between the different lenses. For example, we're right now on the wide lens. Check this out. Let's go to the ultra wide and you're gonna see the room expand right now. And look at this view. What an amazing view for behind the scenes or maybe you have this camera maybe far away to show the sort of scene that you're in. It's such a dynamic view that you just cannot get with a regular webcam on the fly like that. Even a DSLR, you can't really switch on the fly like that, which is really neat. We also have the telephoto. So if we want to go really zoomed in, kind of like that, which I don't recommend all the time, especially when it's right by your face. Um, we also have some focus rack. You can focus manually if you want to, as you can see there or you can have it focus automatically if you'd like. 
Uh, we also have the resolution if you wanna change it, and you can actually bring audio in through your camera as well. You can actually record with camo as well. This is a great idea if you want it as a backup, just in case you can go to file and record video and then save that video from there. You can also shoot an image here too, it looks like. Let's play with the presets a little bit just to show you what that does. Again, you can do this on the fly, even with zoom open like you see it right now. Let's go to saturation buff. That'll make it a lot brighter. If we go to nerf, that'll likely be the opposite, a lot more toned down as you can see. It looks like a, a old Western movie or something. Uh, then we go to mono, which is gonna be black and white, I imagine, there we go. And there's some other things here that you can play with, but I just like to keep it because the camera is really good and has great lighting. If you wanted to adjust the lighting, you can go to this area on the top right here and actually adjust the exposure and the white balance and uh, you know the brightness and the, the hue in case you wanna adjust those and fine tune those uh, on your own. Now down here under image transformation, this is really cool because you can actually do things like mirror your video like that in case for whatever reason on the device or program you're using, it's kind of backwards. You can change that on the fly. You can add an overlay. So let's go to overlay and let's just put logo on bottom right. And as you can see now, we have the Deep Pocket Monster logo right here on the bottom right-hand corner, which is really cool. You can upload your own logo and on the fly, even while on Zoom, through camo, you can add overlays and get a little fancy. You can also rotate the image if you want to. And down here is where you can manually zoom. So for me, when I'm displaying Pokemon cards, right, I wanna show the details of it. I can zoom in like this. Not necessarily sure I wanna do this with my face, but it can go really, really far and that's enough for now. Another thing that I love about camo, especially, is how quickly it focuses, right? Especially if you're gonna be doing anything that maybe you wanna show something on the screen, maybe like my hand, you see how quickly it focuses? That is insane, right? Let me show you an item. My, oh my gosh, very, very dirty coaster. Um, that's kind of disgusting, but here, let me just remove it. Faces in focus, coasters in focus. Faces in focus, dirty, fi dirty face, Dirt, dirty coaster, dirty face. I don't know, but you get the idea, this is so cool. All right, now to finish off, this thing integrates with over 40 different applications. We talked about Zoom, we talked about Skype and most other conference tools. This thing is absolutely mind bending when it comes to ease of use, it's reliability. I once streamed for four and a half hours straight with zero issues and having experienced what happens when there are issues live in front of thousands of people, not so good. I needed something reliable and that's why I got Camo, and I recommend you get it too. If you wanna to go through my affiliate link, it is patflynn.com slash camo. There are pro features that you can upgrade to, but you can try it out for free, and I recommend you do try it out. Again, that's patflynn.com slash camo. Big thank you to Camo for sponsoring this video. But uh, again, this is another amazing thing that you can add to your toolbox to make life a little bit easier and not break the bank with other more expensive cameras or even cameras that don't even work as well. You have one in your pocket or in your hands that you can use right now and hopefully this made it simple and easy for you to do. So thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button so I can serve you in the future because I got a lot of other fun things to share with you to help you take your content to the next level and make your life easier as you grow your business.